Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Richie's Gaming Gadgets and Gizmos and today I'm talking about mobile gaming and more specifically how you can play your favorite mobile games not just on your smartphone but on your smartphone using a gamepad. I mean there are a lot of cool games on here and yes, you know a lot of people are used to using the virtual buttons on these things but I'm old school, I want physical buttons, right? And up to this point now, I mean there have been a lot of bits of software out there that help you to be able to play those games on your phone using a gamepad but there's one app that I found out is so simple I had to do a video on it now there are two versions of this app uh, one is the free version one is the pro version this video is going to focus today on the free version so with that let's get right to it now don't get me wrong like I you know playing games once you're used to where the buttons are on your game you know, playing on the, the on a flat screen like this, it, it's it's still good, right? Like I'm playing NBA Jam here. I've been playing this for years, so I instinctively know where the buttons are without having to like feel for them. But you know what? At the end of the day, it just ain't the same when it comes to pressing physical buttons or mashing buttons on a keypad or a gamepad, right? Um, so. What we're going to do today is show you how you can pretty much, you know, set up a gamepad to play pretty much, I think, pretty much every game you can think of uh, without having to do any major calibration or anything like that. Um, so with that, we're going to go from this and let me show you how to set up a, a gamepad like this with your smartphone. So for this video, I'm using a Moga controller. This is a Bluetooth gamepad. What I love about this one is that it has the similar ergonomic look and feel to a Xbox controller with your analog sticks, one at the top left, one at the bottom right. You have your you know, X, Y, A, B buttons. You have shoulder buttons as well as trigger buttons, right? And this is a very nice feel. What is good about this particular controller is that it's designed for play with smartphones. Because you can see here, this, tele this is telescopic and you can easily put a phone in here, even large screen phones like mine fit right in there. Now, this is a large six, I think 6.8 inch phone. And if I pull this out, there's additional space there. So you can put a small tablet in there as well too. So just in case you're interested, I'll have a link below where you can get this. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is pair our Bluetooth controller with our smartphone. So I'm just gonna turn it on. That's the on switch there. I'm gonna hold down the Bluetooth pairing button. And you can see the blue lights flashing, means it's in pairing mode. Next, I go into my device and I go into Bluetooth settings, obviously, and I'm gonna look for that device. If I don't see it, I'm going to let's wait for a bit and press scan here. I press scan. So I'm in my Bluetooth settings on my phone and I'm pressing scan next. And at the bottom here, we see the Mogo Pro 2. I'm gonna connect on that, click on that. And now I have a pairing request. I'm going to click pair. And now we are successfully connected to the Moga Pro 2 controller. Great. Now that we've paired to the controller, I'm going to click onto my Octopus app that we installed right here. So within the Octopus app, we can see at the top that we are connected to the Moga controller. And as you can see here, it is in the list of available peripherals. So what we're gonna, what we're going to do next? Let's uh, run NBA Jam. As you can see, it's in my games list there. So let's just run the game, and let us see if the control is automatically configured. So I have NBA Jam. I just started, and let's see if it works. I'm just going to use this plant pot to prop it up the screen, so you can just see there are no wires connected between these two. There's no Nothing else, we just have the Bluetooth connection and we should be automatically working now. And don't forget, and I should say, I should stress, I did not do any configuration. All I did was install the Octopus application and then pair my gamepad to my phone via Bluetooth connection, opened up the Octopus app again, confirmed that there was connectivity between this uh, device and the Octopus app by the phone and then we just start a game and let's try it out look at that 
we have connectivity. The game works. And if you want further proof, let me just move this across a little bit more. Better yet, I do have this trusty stand here. So I can put my plant back there. Turn the volume up a little bit. There you go. And now, let's play a game. No configuration needed. The game, the, so I can, so I think what happens is that with the Octopus app, they are, uh, they, I guess they go through this entire library of games and the buttons are automatically configured for you. So I'm just gonna go right in here. I'm gonna play now. Play now, press start. It was A or Y, which one? A. Okay, so I just pressed A and we should be good to go. Yeah, this is really good. Now, as I said, right, playing by just using virtual butts is nice, but the experience is greatly enhanced when you have a physical keypad, a gamepad with physical keys. It really enhances the gaming experience. Um, so I'll have a link to the, where you can get this app on the store, on both the um, Google Play Store, and if it's on the iOS store, Apple Store, I'll have that link as well. I have also have links to this really cool gamepad. And uh, yeah, so guys, this is how you, you set up a gamepad to work with your smartphone to play games. Okay, before you end, I gotta do a slam dunk here in this game. Let's go, pass it to me, and whoop. Let's, let's go. Okay, let's try that again. All right, I have the ball. Go in. Oh, a little layup is okay as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that simple video showing you how to connect your gamepad to your phone and how to be able to use Octopus uh, to be able to play pretty much any game uh, on, the, on your gamepad, right? Now there is a pro feature of Octopus, uh, which has a price tag to it. it. Doesn't cost a lot. You can buy it off of the Play Store, um, and it's the pro version of this, and it does include key mapping features, where you can map your virtual keys to physical buttons on the device. Um, I will do a video on how to do that shortly. Um, I'm also going to just play around with this free version some more to see if the experience that I had setting up NBA Jam to work on this works with other games as well, or if there's some configuration that's needed. Um, other than that, guys, feel free to check the links below to get access to uh, this uh, gamepad, as well as to the Octopus application as well. So till next time guys, stay safe and happy gaming. Bye bye. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed that last video. Now, if you liked this uh, video and you liked it, I appreciate it, thank you very much. And if you subscribe to, to my channel, I am appreciative of that as well, so thank you very much. Um, so listen, there's going to be a lot more content coming out this year and beyond. Um, I plan to be doing quite a few different types of reviews. And I'm also starting to do giveaways now, finally. So that being said, happy gaming and stay safe. Bye bye.